भाजपा नेता और विदेश मंत्री एस जयशंकर ने कच्चा तीव द्वीप के मुद्दे पर आज एक प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस में हिस्सा लिया इसमें उन्होंने कच्चा तीव द्वीप पर भारत का अधिकार छोड़ने को लेकर कांग्रेस और द्रमुक पर निशाना साधा है जयशंकर ने कहा है कि 1974 में भारत और श्रीलंका ने एक समझौते आरोप हस्ताक्षर किए जहाँ उन्होंने एक समुद्र सीमा खींची और समुद्र सीमा खींचने में कच्चा तीव को सीमा के श्रीलंका पक्ष पर रखा गया उन्होंने कहा कि कांग्रेस और डीएमके ने इस मामले को इस तरह से लिया है मानो इस पर उनकी कोई जिम्मेदारी नहीं है एंड आल्सो द सिचुएशन ऑफ तमिल फिशरमैन व्हिच अराइजेस फ्रॉम इट नाउ मे बी ऑल ऑफ यू मे नॉट बी कंप्लीटली फैमिलियर विद कचिथिबु द होल प्रॉब्लम सो लेट मी फर्स्ट एक्सप्लेन what the issue is and then i want to tell you today uh uh what what has really transpired which has created the issue and why that issue is today relevant to all of us why are we debating it today in 1974 india and sri lanka in june 1974 concluded an agreement where they drew their maritime boundary and in drawing the maritime boundary kachatibu was put on the sri lankan side uh, of the boundary this agreement of 1974 had three other clauses one clause which said that each country shall have sovereignty and exclusive jurisdiction and control over the waters the second clause with article 5 it gave to indian fishermen that they will continue to access kachatibu as hitherto and will not be required to obtain travel documents and the third one that the vessels of india and sri lanka will enjoy in each other's waters such rights that they have traditionally enjoyed so this was the agreement which was reached in 1974 in june now when this agreement was presented before parliament the then foreign minister uh shri swaran singh ji he actually assured the parliament and i am reading his words i feel confident that the agreement demarcating the maritime boundary in the pork bay will be considered as fair just and equitable to both countries at the same time i wish to remind the honorable members that in concluding this agreement the rights of fishing please note the rights of fishing pilgrimage and navigation which both sides have enjoyed in the past have been fully safeguarded for the future this was the assurance that the then foreign minister sri swaran singh ji gave in parliament at that time 1974 july 23 1974 now in less than 2 years actually there was an ex- another agreement between india and sri lanka through an exchange of letters and in this agreement now india proposed the following again i'm reading to you from the original document with the establishment of the exclusive top story bureau ke liye delhi se hemant kumar ki report